that gives explanation of now microeconomics and macroeconomics so here we are going to explain what is microeconomics as we see the word micro that was derived from a greek word again with the phonics of the micro but with different spelling and here micro mean the small unit or the small entity so with the inclusion of this micro the combination of micro with economics it came that school of the thought or that system or rules or the laws that were utilized for the management of small units of the economy and these small units can be the consumption unit these small units can be the production unit and these small units so mostly this microeconomics now can be explained with the study of the individual consumers and with the study of the theory of the firm with the individual producers so the study of behavior of the individuals decision making into the firms or in the form of the consumers and at the same time when we say the producer they can be the owners of various resources so a person who is owning the resource of a land that will be one part if he is owning certain amount of the money or the wealth that he is going to lend for the further production to the others so he is the resource owner of the credit even he will be dealing like this so when these factors of the production and the consumption we have to deal there should be certain market signals or in other words these market signals it should be quantifiable to agar hum yahan pe kahe to har cheez ki jab tak jo economy mein maujood hoga hum usko ek value nahi denge to us value ko dene ke liye us commodity ko us resource ko us labor ko hame mayar karna hoga to us measurement ki madad se agar hum kahe to hum usko kehte hain ki that is the price price of that resource price of that good so in microeconomics mostly price determination ka jo hamara concept hai wo develop hoga and microeconomics jo hai it was this term was first utilized by a norwegian economist ragnar fnish and microeconomics kis cheez ko explain karti hai agar hum dekhe to humne abhi tak economics mein jab bhi dekha hai to hamare sabse bade jo teen sawal hain what to produce how to produce and how much in teen sawalat ko individual level pe kis tarike se deal kiya jata hai firms aur individual mein un sawalat ke jawab dene ke liye kaun se procedures istemal honge this all study it will come under the school of microeconomics so it analyze the behavior of the economic agent it underlying the supply and the demand issues it provides the pricing of the concept and at the same time when we say there are the various types of the market so the behavior of the markets that either the market structure will be in the form of single unit and having the full control mean monopoly or there will be the combination of the two in the form of oligopoly or there can be any other when there will be the many factors of the production owned by the many uh, many owners and there can be many firms in the market so these are the various structure of the firms or the market that we will be studying here so in this diagram we can say that broadly microeconomics will be explained under factor pricing where all the factors of production they will be included and the other side when we say that it will be the commodity market it will be explaining the product pricing when it will be the product pricing here again the products its demand from the consumer has to be studied and how the theory of supply will explain the supply of the output when it will come under the factor pricing the four aspects that we will be dealing that the factors if they will be labor they will be uh, measured through their wages if 
there will be any type of the building or the land its premium will be paid in the form of the rent if there will be any type of the money resources in the form of the wealth so what will be the cost of those resources that will be in the form of the interest and then what will be the profit earned by those factors of production and redistribution or the distribution of this resource that will be studied under welfare economics and this concept was mostly explained in the form of the normative economics by the pigo so under the microeconomics when we say what type of the theories we will be dealing so there will be the theory of consumer behavior so this theory of consumer behavior will provide insight to the individual that how they will make their choices how they will limit their income for the attainment of their wishes and how the prices of the goods and the services they will be determined for the output when we will come to the theory of production here the decision that the how the firm they will allocate their budget or the available resources for the production of their output and then how they will decide and prioritize their resources as per their productivity and as per its pricing and as per its cost so these aspects that will be dealt under the theory of the firm and the what was the level of the technology available to them and when we say the market structure here we will study what is the market structure what are the rules to run that market what are the resources of the uh, available to that market either all the resources or the factors of production they are owned by a single firm either the sources they are shared by any other thing or either these resources they are the property of none yes it can be the form when certain resources they are owned by the public so there can be the public goods and this public good concept will come again under the welfare economic and when we will say the theory of factor pricing so how the prices of factors will be decided either the factors they are measured properly sometimes these factors they are not measured properly in the form of the uh, that phenomena when there will be no market ye bilkul waise hi example hai jis tarah hum kahe ki kyunki dhoop सब के लिए अवेलेबल है और ये पब्लिक गुड है और इसकी मार्केट अवेलेबल नहीं है तो इसकी प्राइसिंग मुमकिन नहीं है लेकिन इसके मुकाबले में अगर हम दूसरी तरफ पे देखें तो इरिगेशन वाटर या आपाशी का पानी जो के लोगों को अवेलेबल है हमारे दरियाओं नदी नालों के जरिए तो हम उसको एक बड़ी सब्सिडाइज कीमत पे फैक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन के तौर पर जिम्मेदारों को मुहैया करते हैं लेकिन जब यही पानी दरियाओं में नहीं होता तो पानी की एक बारी लगाने के लिए ट्यूबवेल के ऊपर उसको जितनी कॉस्ट लगती है तो उसी एक एकड़ इंच पानी की प्राइस या कॉस्ट कहीं ज्यादा हो जाती है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट सो ऐसे फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन की समटाइम्स मैयरमेंट हमारे लिए मुश्किल हो जाती है जिनके लिए मार्केट अवेलेबल ही नहीं है और इसी तरीके से फैक्टर प्राइसिंग में कुछ रिसोर्सेज ऐसे होते हैं जो ट्रेडेबल नहीं हैं जिनको हम ट्रेड कर ही नहीं सकते जिस तरह लैंड है वो एक एरिया में मौजूद हो सकती है और उसको हम ट्रांसफर करके कहीं और नहीं लेके जा सकते तो ये तमाम फैक्टर्स को जब हम स्टडी करते हैं इनको हम थ्योरी ऑफ फैक्टर प्राइसिंग में करेंगे और जब हम ये देखते हैं कि वेरियस एंटरप्रन्योर्स वेरियस प्रोड्यूसर्स मार्केट में एक्टिवली रोल प्ले कर रहे हैं और उस एक्टिव रोल में वो स्ट्रेटेजिकल मूव्स देखते हैं वो कंपटीशन का सामना करते हैं और उस कंपटीशन को देखते हुए वो ये असेस करते हैं कि मेरी कंपीटिंग फर्म कितनी प्राइस लेकर मार्केट में आएगी और अगर ये मार्केट में जब वो प्राइस लेकर आएगी तो कंज्यूमर्स का रिस्पॉन्स क्या होगा और उस कंज्यूमर्स के रिस्पॉन्स में अगर इसकी डिमांड बढ़ जाती है तो उसी इंक्रीज्ड डिमांड का मेरे आउटपुट के ऊपर क्या फर्क पड़ेगा या मेरी 
सप्लाई और उसके जवाब में मुझे कौन सी स्ट्रेटजी अडॉप्ट करनी है तो ये अगर हम देखें तो इस कंपटीशन को डील करने के लिए जो स्ट्रेटजिक मूव्स अडॉप्ट करते हैं हमारे मुख्तलिफ एंटरप्रन्योर्स और द प्रोड्यूसर्स और उनका जो आउटकम है जो उसके कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस का बेनिफिट या लॉस उसको कैसे हैंडल करते हैं दिस विल कम अंडर द गेम थ्योरी 